It's one small step for the relic hunter, but a giant leap for relic hunter kind. Today we're going across the pond to England, just to turn around and launch straight into space, where no one can hear you scream. You will, however, be able to hear the interview, so don't worry or anything. In fact, remember, don't panic as we hitch a ride onto one of the true classics of gaming, Mongoose Publishing's Traveler. So jump on your nearest starship, beam yourself up, or slip into hyperspace as we relic hunt Traveler with Matt Sparang. I hope you enjoy. It's one of the uh, one of the first uh, RPGs that um, appeared in '78, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, I think I'm right in saying that it was the f- um, the first or one of the first RPGs that was uh, skill based, and it was the first to introduce the kind of life path uh, character creation system as well. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, and now you guys are going to be doing a new edition of this. Are, what about uh, what of those unique traits are you going to be carrying over to the new edition? Oh, all of them. If um, if we didn't include um, skill-based characters and uh, uh, its unique uh, character creation system, it just wouldn't be Traveller. Absolutely. Um, so we we've taken uh, basically our our premise for uh, our edition of Traveller is that uh, we take the the classic uh, original set of rules uh, and update them for well as we say the 21st century <laughs> right yeah we have some new uh, rules technology out there if you as it were. indeed I think it happens right from the start the uh, when you uh, play other games you tend to um, uh, create characters uh, in isolation from the other players uh, but with Traveller it's very much uh, a group activity you don't arrive at the table with your character you build it alongside everyone else and that's um, Traveller's uh, kind of composed of uh, several mini games and that's the very first one uh, character creation is much a group activity as actually playing the game well it's also um, added to that um, there's no real min-maxing of characters. I mean, with something like um, uh, D&D, there's always the uh, temptation to make your character as powerful in combat as possible. Right. In, in Traveller, that's really not a factor, and you can have very, very different um, uh, characters uh, in the same group. Um, and one might be a better shot, one might be able to take uh, more damage, uh, but it really makes no difference. Traveller's about... Um, Uh, taking the cards that are dealt with you in life and trying to make the best of them rather than trying to be the best uh, you can possibly be if you you see what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, so some of the best characters I've seen for Traveller have been, um, frankly, uh, completely worthless human beings. (laughs) Um, I I do remember one. There was um, somebody created uh, a noble dilettante based on a uh, cross between Paris Hilton and My- Miley Cyrus. <laughs> um, someone famous for being famous. Right, right. Um, uh, and that was one of the most fun characters around. Being one of the original RPGs has always had um, a very strong uh, following. Um, and whenever a new edition comes out, there's always uh, some sort of uh, debate um, about the effect it has, um, uh, starting with uh, Mega Traveler and going through the, the, uh, the new era in T4, uh, T5 released um, uh, recently as well. Um, but that's one of the reasons we like to focus our efforts on um, Classic Traveler, the original one. It's uh, it tends to be the most popular and um, it's the one we remember playing ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they're already enjoying um, uh, something like Classic Traveller, it's the way everything now links together. It's uh, Classic Traveller is a little bit rough, a little bit ready. That is part of the charm 
Um, but uh, just for example, um, a unified task system, it uses the same mechanics more or less as Classic Traveller. Um, you don't have to uh, readjust your dice rolls for every new task you do. It's always, it's, it's basically roll two dice, try and add modifiers, get eight or more. It's as simple as that. Okay. Well, uh, last year, late last year, we finally released um, the last chapter of Pirates of Drenax campaign. It is a huge, huge sandbox-style campaign. Uh, the players get to be pirates, which is what they always want to do right. in a travel <laughs> game anyway. We, we give them permission this <laughs> Um, but I, I know of groups have been playing this campaign for two years and they've only got past the first couple of uh, episodes uh, of it. it. It really is huge. It really does include everything that's uh, fine about Traveller. And it's free. So uh, anybody uh, watching this, um, go to a website, download the Pirates Dream Acts. It won't cost you a penny. It's got everything you could uh, possibly want in a travel campaign. I hope you've enjoyed our relic hunt of Mongoose Publishing's Traveler. Somewhere between Firefly and Star Trek, you'll find Matt Sprang's imagination hard at work. Thanks, Matt, for taking some time to spend with me and my fellow hunters. If you would like to join my hunters, just click Spock and live long and prosper with us. And until next time, play like the dice are trying to kill you. Because they are. <laughs>